he's like, what kind of car is this? I've never seen anything like this before. I'm just floored right now. Okay, Liam wants it hot, Landon wants it cold. Is it not a seat? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Hey guys, Kim Java here. I'm in California and we are testing out a VinFast VF8 City Edition Plus. Now this is kind of the Model Y meets the Audi e-tron. Now the one thing people say it doesn't have is the range, but you might be surprised there. And we're gonna get to the bottom of it this weekend. We're taking it all over Southern California with our family and we're gonna take you guys along for the ride. Let's go. Now here in California, you honestly can't even count to 30 before you see another EV whizzing by. ID4, Ionic 5, Lucid, sorry I can't help myself. Out of all the EVs that I've tested and reviewed over the years, VinFast was the one that I was really excited about, from their design language to utility and just that premium feel of their cabin. So today we're checking out VinFast, which is a Vietnamese automaker that just seems to be popping up out of nowhere. And out of all the foreign EV makers, you know, we have BYD, we have Mio, we have Xpeng. VinFast is the only one that actually has a physical presence already in the US. They have 10 stores in California where you can actually even test drive the VF8. And we're gonna go check out their Santa Monica store right now. Let's go. So VinFast seems like a small brand, but its parent company, Vin Group, is one of the world's largest. Its founder, Pham Nhat Vung, is basically the Elon Musk of Vietnam. He's already started to electrify the millions of motorbikes and cars on Vietnam's roads. It's all ran by one person who started a ramen company in Ukraine, sold the ramen company for millions, took it back to Vietnam, and he created Vin Group. So if you drive a Vin fast, you live in a Vin home. If you live in a Vin home, you go to Vin school. If you go to Vin school, if you get injured, where are you gonna go to? Vin hospital, there you go. <laughs> so really it's like everything. Everything, everything, and now, Okay. You're looking at VinFast, so. Last year, President Biden announced that VinFast was even building a U.S. factory in North Carolina for both its EVs and batteries. We have our city edition for people who are doing just a daily commute to work. So that way, you know, you don't need that extra range. You're only commuting maybe 15, 20 to 30 miles a day to work. And then we also have our standard vehicles for people who want to take those longer trips. You know, you're going to be driving all the way everywhere. The range of these city editions have sort of been a sticking point for a lot of people. The Eco model was only given an EPA range of 207 miles, while the more premium plus model received a range of 191 EPA miles, which didn't really add up considering the car has an 88 kilowatt hour battery pack. Turns out the EPA tested the VF8 in its less efficient settings, and owners in the real world are reporting somewhere between 240 to 270 miles of range. I have heard from other clients that have already purchased the vehicle that we are broadcasting that it goes up to 207. However, their cars are getting longer range. So we are in right now currently trying to get it retested in the eco mode so we can get the more range in there. VinFast has already delivered about a thousand of these Vietnam built city edition VF8s to the US. So we asked if we could borrow one of these for the weekend, getting a family perspective, testing features, utility, and most importantly, range. So we're about to pick up our car that we get to take for the weekend. Here it is, we have the VF8 City Edition. I love this green. Hey VinFast, open the car. Hey VinFast. Oh, it works. Oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> is that not a feature? <laughs> the Pina Verena designed SUV has an almost identical footprint to the Model Y, but with a premium quality and feel that you'd find in an Audi e-tron. It kind of combines the curves of a sports car with elongated lines that you'd find in executive sedans, and everywhere we went in LA, people were coming up and asking about this EV. Hey VinFast, take me to Venice Beach. Venice Pier. Venice Beach Pier in Marina Del Rey. Starting navigation. We are given the City Edition Plus, which like all VF8s comes standard with dual motor, all wheel drive, a heads up display and access to ADOS, VinFast's autopilot equivalent. But it also offers plenty of premium features like a panoramic glass roof and larger wheels. Okay, go inside. Oh, it looks like a lot sunroof. of sunroof. sunroof. Oh, is this the one where you can stick your head out? Yes. Oh, way cleaner than our car. Oh, Definitely so cleaner so than our car. <laughs> 
Inside the cabin, the VF8 City Edition Plus has a very minimalistic yet refined look. The perforated vegan leather seats feel great and the steering wheel's dual stitch pattern definitely adds to the premium feel. The 15.6 inch center screen gives you access to things like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto while also providing a Tesla-like experience when it comes to gaming and entertainment. What they're going to say. She has yes. chocolate on her face. <laughs> Dawn never bothered me anyway. Though we we're told some of the features would be added with an upcoming over the air update. You get heated and cooled seats in both rows, a heated steering wheel, customizable ambient lighting, and the car is packed with safety features including seven cameras, radar, ultrasonics, and my favorite being a 360 degree camera view. This is so nice. So that's really tight turn right here. I can barely see where I'm going, but those cameras are coming in clutch. All right, so we are gonna head up the coast all the way to Malibu, get some lunch. Now we put our destination in, and just like a lot of EVs, it shows us our charge when we get to our destination. You can actually add waypoints in here, which I think is really cool, and if we needed to charge, it would show us that as well. The car also plans and routes your charging stops on a road trip using what VinFast calls the largest partnership of charging stations. Any charging station, EVgo, Electrify America, ChargePoint, any charging station that you'd like, and we have something called Tap and Go, so you don't have to download any of the other apps. You can literally just tap the charging station and you're good to go. So we're the, one of the only EV companies that's actually partnered with every charging station that allows that. The VF8 City Edition charges from 10 to 70% in about 30 minutes and has one of the more competitive warranties on the market. The battery gets a 10-year unlimited mile warranty and the rest of the car comes with a 10-year 125,000 mile warranty. So if there are any sort of issues that come up, how do you schedule a service appointment? We do have mobile service technicians that will come out to your house for most things that need to be done. For the larger things, which might include putting it up on a lift or having access to other parts, we do have the service centers for them. Right now it's just in California, but we are in works with partnering with a national third party service and certifying them to work on our vehicles throughout the US. So we've had the car all weekend and we've been driving all over the place. We can see it says our battery is at 50%. We're gonna go charge right now at Electrify America. I love being able to pull in to charge. So we decided to go ahead and charge this to 100 because I'm really curious how much range the car actually has. Now we've driven it around 100 miles and it's actually getting exactly what the vehicle says it's getting. So we're gonna find out, run a little test ourselves right now. So while we dined and played at a nearby shopping center, we let the car fully charge. Now this isn't an official test since we didn't have access to watt hours per mile or kilowatts consumed, but we knew how many miles we drove and it aligned perfectly with our estimated range. So the car was definitely more efficient than those early EPA range estimates of 191 miles. I'm just floored right now. It says that we're at 100% battery and we have 200, almost 264 miles with a full battery. That's more than, way more than what was advertised. This of course is the lower range city edition, but VinFast is also beginning deliveries of a longer range, nearly 300 mile VF8 coming to the US and Canada next month. Lakin, what do you wanna do? Go hike to there's also their flagship VF9. This is the one that I'm super excited to check out since it comes in both six and seven seat options and has an expected range more than 320 miles. So what you guys don't realize is that my husband is actually here on this trip. He's behind the camera right now filming and in a minute I'm gonna pull over and I'm gonna have him get in the driver's seat. We're gonna have a little roll reversal. Hold on, you know when it comes to some of these EVs, you can easily pick and choose different parts of each EV that you like, and if you could put them all together, you've got the best one. With Model Y, for me, for example, is that large front trunk. That's a big deal to me, I use it a lot. For this one, it has a smaller front trunk, but then in return, you're getting a much larger second row. I sat back there, I was blown away. It's almost as big, as far as the leg room is concerned, as the Model X was for me. Extremely comfortable, extremely spacious, and I was in between two kids in a car seat. I mean, part of it could be because of the, the roof opening up, the moon roof, in the Y you don't have access to that. You get the heads up display, which you don't have again, in the Y. So you kind of look at the different things. You know, you've got the supercharging network, you've got the more range, but then that costs $200 more than this one 
on a monthly lease basis. I think this is about $400 a month, whereas Y is about $600 a month. Right now, these first few fates are only available for lease with the City Edition Eco model starting at $274 a month, while the Plus model starts at $388 a month. What do you think of the regen braking? So the regen braking is the big difference in every EV that I've driven. As soon as you get into an EV, that's the first thing you notice and you immediately want to compare it to the other EVs you've driven. Yes, that's very true. That's very true. <laughs> I would say that it's similar to Tesla at higher speeds, but what Tesla does is that speed, as you change your speed, your regen braking's aggressiveness adjusts. This vehicle seems like the uh, software hasn't maybe been fine-tuned for that aspect of it. I will say if you are coming from a typical ICE vehicle or other EVs, this is more similar to that. So I think a lot of people actually would probably prefer this. Um, however, you know, the people like us that have been driving Tesla for a long time are kind of used to that one pedal driving. Yeah, you've got to keep in mind, this is a very early version of a very early car, so the software where all these things are controlled are going to get further, you know, iterated and, yes. and get enhanced to, to meet that. Because you think about Tesla in the early days, a lot of the things we're describing yeah. were all brought in via software. Its level two driver assist features are also very similar to Tesla's autopilot, recognizing speed limits, traffic lights, and cars around you. So I just pressed this one button right here. Look at that, guys. While providing auto park, auto lane change, and even smart summit features, which are expected with upcoming over the air updates. Hey, VinFast, take me to In N Out Burger. Yeah. In N Out Burger on Gailey Avenue in Los Angeles. Starting navigation. Who's hungry? We are. Okay, let's put this baby in sport mode. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! As far as cargo capacity, you've got plenty of room in the back though, no sub trunk, but it does offer room for a spare if you'd like. The front trunk is on the smaller side as I do prefer having room for at least a small stroller up there, but it's still usable in most cases. So we've talked about this before, but the best place for leftovers is always the front trunk. Now the front trunk is not huge, but it does have enough room for leftovers. So, I'll take it. Now, as I said, I just slam this thing, which just feels crazy, but it works. So the whole time we've been here, Lakin has not been able to nap. Usually she naps great in the car, but apparently the car was too smooth of a ride. Well, she likes chaos, and here in Betty's Beach, she's finally fallen asleep. Alright, so I'm going to get the tether. I do love that feature. And I love that this car has the rear tethers. I'm just going to make sure we're not twisted right here. And we are good to go. So we'll put Lake in here, probably Landon and Liam. Almost everywhere we went in LA, people were genuinely intrigued by the VF8. The parking lot attendant in Venice Beach, he grabbed our key fob and he's like, what kind of car is this? I've never seen anything like this before. I see hundreds of cars a day, but never seen one like this because that's been fast and they're new. So it reminded me a lot of our early days with our Model X. Is it better than Tesla though? In some ways it is, while in others there's definitely room to improve. Just the fact that you're getting more options, you're finally getting entrance into the EV world where you're not just having to go with one brand and that's what I think is, is the coolest to getting such a variety of options and the options lead to competition which leads to better products in the end and that's kind of what I love about having a vehicle like this, the VF8. So we've had this car for two days. It's been so fun. I feel like we've done so much. We're all pretty tired, but this has been such a great car for us. Um, the thing that stands out the most is just the space. Like it was so big in that second row. I did not expect it. Um, the kids, all three kids fit so well. Uh, my husband sat back there for a while and had plenty of room. 
We really enjoyed it. So make sure that you guys are subscribed to our channel. You've hit that like button for more reviews just like this one. And let us know what you think about the VinFast VF8 down in the comments below. We'll catch you guys next time.